Okay, so tonight I am doing a video about my 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid with the fifth VIN number, or this VIN being a B, B's and boy. How many of you have a, the same Camry? And start the car up. I don't have any lights on in my car. Pairing. Pad. And take it to the cycle. And then we start hearing the noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but. There it goes. Let's see what it sounds like on that side. I don't have any here yet. But this might be a chunk right there. And that's what we're talking about tonight. It is constantly burning, wearing noise, which is the much to constantly be put on. From everything I've read, it sounds like the ABS module is going out. Uh, luckily I don't have any lights on it, so I'm gonna drive it. But I did experience some uh, difficulties coming down the road. And this particular ABS pump for the VIN with a B, fifth VIN being a B, it's very expensive. And uh, as well as the used ones are like 400 to 600 at eBay or salvage yards, and those aren't even guaranteed. So I looked around and I found a place on line, which happens to be in my hometown, Atlanta, Georgia, that rebuilds these for a decent price, like $199. It varies for different cars, but this particular car, the model number, $199 to rebuild what's wrong with this. As you can hear, it's going to keep on doing that noise right there. So what I'm going to show you tonight is how you take out this pump to send it in to the rebuilding company. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the trunk and we'll disable, disconnect the battery. Right there, there's a size 10. And we're going to hang this straight in there. All right, now, back to the front. So the tools you're going to need for this are a ratchet, an extension, 10 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter Flared wrench crow's foot. Some of you may have this. We basically this is used for the brake line so that they don't strip them out. And also something to clamp your uh, brake line here so the fluid doesn't go everywhere. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull that and get that clamped. like that. And then something to pull. Have, good to have a towel so handy because there would be brake fluid. You don't want to get that on your car's corrosive and your car paint special. Maybe not yourself for that matter. Thanks. 
Okay, let me just pop this up. There goes the hood. That's nasty. Right, back to it. It's pretty messy, but it got off and out of the way. And then next, you're going to pull it up on this current reservoir overflow tank and sit it out of the way. There we go. So what we're looking at now is to take off these to do six brake lines, 10 millimeter for those flared cross feet. So let me do that.